Hey guys, Tom Ball back again. Welcome to day 13 in the life of the Galaxy S23. I have a slightly different setup today. Misplaced my other tripod, so we're gonna have to set up for this one. So I've been having excellent battery life the last two times I used the Galaxy S23. Today is a little bit funky, but stay tuned to see how it goes. Woke up at 6.42 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Had to tweak my routine a little bit different today. Got up, brushed my teeth, grabbed a quick snack and some coffee, and then got in my car, and we're on the road to Viridian City. If you know, then you know. My wireless charging dock is a car mount at the same time, so it's super convenient for me. Anytime I need to drive, I just slap it on. And I have Bixby routine set up, so every time my Bluetooth is connected to the car, Google Maps launch automatically, music play in the background. Everything is automated. The only thing I need to plug in is the address where I want to go to. Got my dash cam sitting on top as well, using an iPhone 6. Occasionally, I do use one of my Galaxy as a dash cam. But I just leave my iPhone 6 there all the time if someone smashed my window and takes it. I'll still be annoyed, but I can live with that. Uh, for breakfast, we got some eggs and avocado toast with tomatoes. Shot on the Galaxy S23. Pretty solid photo here, I must admit. Then I had some Chinese contractors come over my house. Wanted to listen in and understand what they're saying. Unfortunately, Google did not recognize the language. I guess with Chinese, there's a lot of different dialect. There's Cantonese, Mandarin, twice on, and I guess Google Translate could not help me out in this situation. Although it would have been cool to see it translate everything to English in live time. Luckily, do you have a translator? as we're talking through the remodel process and everything that we need. Then I made my way over to Home Depot again. 10 o'clock, phone is at 1%. Another day, another trip to Home Depot. And pro tip, if you ever want a good battery life with the Galaxy S23 or any phones in general, I would avoid going to Home Depot. They have poor cell phone services here and I feel like it's Always sucking up my battery by the time I leave. Last time I went here with my Galaxy S23 Ultra. Pretty bad battery life as well. I'm buying some drywalls, and if you buy them in bulk, do you get discount? Loading these bad boys up. Me standing and watching as these guys are doing all the hard work. Got some wood to add extra support to my basement beams. Sent a Snapchat to my friends of all the material I gotta buy. And I had a door in my basement as well. 10.27 a.m. phone is at 74%. Came across an article about the S23 Ultra having Wi-Fi issues connected without internet. I personally haven't experienced this yet. Although on the Google, on the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the last week that I had it, I started having more weird connection issues. I'll keep you guys updated if I start experiencing anything. But as of now, I guess it is an issue. But we'll see if I will be impacted. Some more additional stuff that I'm purchasing for my basement. We're adding some lights as well. And on a day-to-day -day basis, if I'm walking around, I actually really prefer the Galaxy S23, the small version, because it's so lightweight, easy to hold with one hand. It feels very comfortable, almost like holding a sheet of paper. But every time I hold the Ultra, everything is a lot heavier, bulkier. I gotta hold a tighter depth grip on it because it's a more expensive phone and I don't want to drop it. But I just love the lightweight feel of the Galaxy S23. Here's the current situation in my dining room. All this mess and materials. Got some flooring as well. So eventually, once I finish the basement, I can get my dining room back. And at 12.40 p.m., phone is at 60%. I downloaded this update the other day but forgot to install it. I might as well just do it now, knowing that's gonna kill the battery life even faster. I guess in theory I can wait until nighttime to do it, or set it to do it automatically. But I'd rather just get it over with and uh, see how it goes. Then I'm just browsing through all my documents, came across camp packing lists, made myself chuckle there. My Vietnamese name is Tom, by the way. So I sent a Snapchat to my friends. 
And in the afternoon, as the contractors were hammering away in the basement, I had to set up new workstation in my living room. I know everything's a mess right now as we're going through our remodeling process, but we're getting there. Then I found some old videos that I made when I was like 10 or 14 years old. Sent the Snapchat to my friends. These are the videos that I converted from my VHS into a digital format. Still make me chuckle to these days when we were young and dumb. This was back before there were smartphones and a lot of entertainment. These days, kids growing up, they got iPads and everything, so don't need to worry about entertaining themselves too much. And for those who are interested, here is my home screen setup. I just have a very simple two screens. On my main screen, I just have a bunch of folder. There's really no crazy method to this madness. <laughs> I'm just adding apps to my main screen as I go, and if I run out of space, I try to put in a folder. So I got a social folder for my social media stuff, a productivity folder, messages, since there's so many messaging platform out there. But at the same time, I do have the actual messages and the Snapchat on the outside because I use those more often. The other ones, not so much. I got a finance folder and then a security folder with all my security cameras around the house and outside. And on the second screen are apps that I don't use as much but occasionally would like access to. So nothing too crazy. I don't spend a lot of time customizing. I just throw everything to the whole screen and use them as I go. Whatever's easiest for me to remember. I haven't even changed the wallpaper <laughs> on this phone yet. But just keep everything extra simple and basic. And I do like to have the uh, step counter as one of my widget as well, even though I'm not really a big widget guy. Sent another snapshot to my friends of an old video that I found. I'm not sure if any of you guys played Gunbound back in the days, but that was a classic computer game. And here's Younger me. So 5 p.m. phone is at 22%. Taking a break, doing some light gaming. Here's a quick clip of my home videos that I was recording back in the days. This is how we entertained ourselves back then. Then for dinner, I went to this Euro and Kebab place. Snap a quick picture inside. Looking pretty solid. Then we hit the road again with the phone on the car mount with the wireless charger. And here is day one progress in the basement. All that hammering and banging using these woods that I purchased. Adding extra support on the top. We're gonna put some drywall ceilings up there. Keep updating you guys as we go with the renovation process. So this is what I got for dinner. Got some lamb, veggies. Uh, picture more focus in the front while the back is a little blurry. Then 7.30 p.m. doing some cleanup work in the basement, blasting some music in my phone to kill this last 8%. And phone died and the loud music lasted until 7.45 or so. So today got close to 14 hours of battery life, which is pretty solid. A lot of running around to Home Depot, installing the new updates. 7.40 p.m. is not quite a full day, but it's close enough, despite me doing all those random stuff. Screen on time, only three and a half hours. I did half an hour of gaming today, used the maps for 44 minutes, Snapchat for like half an hour. And this wraps up day 13 in the life of the Galaxy S23. So another solid day. Can't really complain about 14 hours battery life even though I wasn't using my phone a whole ton, but I managed to make it throughout the whole day as I went around doing errands, grabbing dinner, coming back. So far, so good. I know the S23 Ultra is still getting acclimated to my usage, but so far, the little guy is actually doing better than the big brother, and will continue to track the progress. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.